told you to push it. Come on, man. This is not that heavy. What are you doing? Suck it up. Come on. Billy, you're gonna go with an empty bar? You know this is called a skull crusher, right? And if you crush your skull right now, there's not gonna be anything in there because it's empty. Just like your weightlifting soul. Come on, man. You should be doing heavier than Shut this. up. Come on, man. Jay. Come on, dude. I'm gonna kill you. Like the what the weight wants to crush you. Aren't you supposed to be pressing this out? Come on, man. I thought you were stronger than this. Don't you play ten? Alright, McDowell, you gotta do seven more. Seven more to walk out of here with your dignity intact. You are dipping it into my patience. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like I know that was really challenging for you and all. Maybe next time you should consider a 15 pound weight. I think that's gonna be better for you. You've done nothing but verbally abuse me all freaking day! Oh, so you finally decide to show up. I got your email. You said you needed to see me. I do need to see you. What is your deal? What did I do? Well, first of all, you know, I send out an email and say, come enjoy a treat or whatever, and you just come down here and they tell me that you took a whole tray full of brownies. Well, they were sitting there. It was the end of the day. No one had touched them, so I oh, think they were free. Oh, so you just think you can just take them and go with them? Well, yeah. I mean, it's the end of the day. No one's going to take them home. Really, Jay? Come on. And then, just to top all of that off, I get an email from my boss, and then she comes up here, rings into me, because it comes to find out you told her that you turned in your seating chart plans, and I lost them. Yeah. What's up with that? I totally turned those in. I, no. If they're gone, it's your fault. No, you did not turn them in, and your little Jonas Brother charm does not work with me. <laughs> Jonas Brother charm? Yeah, it might work with Mackenzie, but it is not going to work with me. Oh. Look, I have just about had it. Do you understand me? I don't understand Don't you come down in this office. Y'all just don't know what we take down here in the middle of this pandemic. I mean, I'm just ready to pull my hair out. Do you understand? And I will get revenge. Uh-huh. So it sounds like you can't handle the heat in the kitchen. Oh, it sounds like you again just gonna turn that little charm on and get away with everything. Like maybe murder or something. Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll go talk to Mackenzie too and we'll get to the bottom of it eventually. Yeah, we'll get to the bottom of this and you better watch your back. Okay. All right. I hear you. We'll see you. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll have a last word. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. There's been a lot of tension in our department between Simpson and some of his colleagues. I know he got in it with Nasik over some testing and control over AP Human. And he's also gotten in our last department meeting blew up because he got in it with Cruz over AP Human. And there's been a lot of choice words he's been using. Maybe the stress of doing all this online teaching and hybrid teaches is getting to him, but yeah, he's been at a lot of people's throat. He's been off of his game. Very, very aggressive. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Ball, I heard you needed to see me. Okay. Mr. Simpson. Yeah, what's It's up? come to my attention that you have not been utilizing the AP Classroom resources I specifically asked you to use. What's the deal, man? You, you specifically said I had to use that? Specifically told you to use the AP Classroom resources. Uh, Mr. Simpson, what's the deal? Um, what do I have to do in order to get you to use these AP resources? Frankly, I'm not going to do it because I've done this for so long that it's just not in my purview. Jay, AP is changing, okay? You got to change with the times. Maybe we need to continue to use traditions, especially in these trying times. The answer is more technology, Jay. Don't you understand? I don't agree. We with need you, more time online, okay? Okay. Use the tools. Or I'll use a tool on you. Oh, I feel like that's a personal threat for AP. That's Get out of here, Jay. Is that how you want to do it? All right, fine. Use the AP classroom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I don't, I don't suggest you come up here and try to get me. 
No. No. Sir, I'm telling you that is probably not a good idea. God! I swear! What Can happened? I, this man is coming after my job! I heard him yelling at you. What the Golly! I swear, where's Jay Simpson? I'm gonna kill him! Just calm down. No, I'm gonna... Hey, where have you been? What are you talking about? I am I'm so angry at you. What did I do? Okay, have you not freaking noticed that two of your students had been in your sixth period? Well, yeah, we're in remote. I got a lot of kids missing from your sixth period and fifth period, third period. When is the last time you took attendance, Jay? <laughs> Labor Day? I don't know. Good grief. Okay, so whoa, this whoa, dad, whoa, whoa. no, this dad just called me and he is so mad because his daughter has not been in your sixth period and lo and behold, she's out gallivanting with another kid in your sixth period and she's pregnant. <laughs> Which student? What? I mean, you act like I can just read minds here. She was totally in class the other day. No, she has not been in class three out of your five days. What? Mom and Dad do not let those two get together, for so course. they're skipping school so that they can get together. At first, I feel like this is inappropriate as a conversation. I feel like you need to take it like down 39 minutes. Yeah, but I heard, the, I heard the dad all the way over in my office yelling at her. Yeah, she's coming after my job, You're Jay. You're up here today? Yes. yes. Well, I need to go find a place to hang out. Can you cover for me? Are uh, you freaking no. kidding me? We're the ones that he's going to take down. This Are is, you kidding this me? This is your job. Oh, no. My job is to look at your attendance and clean it up. It's not to do your attendance. Well, when you say clean it up, doesn't that mean you have to handle it? No, up? you have to do it. I, I do it most of the time. I'm Jay, sorry, one, of us, one of us is going to lose our job over this. It's not going to be us. me? It's not going to be me. It well, is not going to be me. I can tell you that right now. Me. It's not going to be me because this is remote teaching at its finest. This is the challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you just go up to your little hole and don't do anything that you're supposed to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are having it out. Miss McKenzie, this man, I can hear him on the phone yelling at her because he's not doing his attendance. He, need, he needs to do his attendance. I do my attendance most of the time. It's hard. I'm done, Jay. He's coming attendance. after my job, and it's going to be your job, not mine. Uh, well, Jay, just, just, just walk just away. Okay. Just walk away. Just walk away. On my way to the into the building, I heard an aggressive exchange between Mr. Simpson and Mrs. Wong, and I was very shocked because that's not Mr. Simpson I, I know. He's a very good man, always funny, and it was a big shock for me. I was surprised to see him with this aggressive behavior. Hey, Weaver, what's up? How's everything? I mean, it's okay. Uh, I, I really wanted to talk to you about some stuff you've been saying to my stuff. student. Yeah, I mean, I heard that you have been saying that English is just us sitting around talking about our feelings. Well, I mean, y'all do talk a lot about poetry, right? Oh, come on now. Like, that's not the same. We're analyzing literature. You're, you said that we just sit around and talk about our feelings and that we're basically a glorified book club. What did you, what'd you guys do in class yesterday? We discussed a poem. That's not the point. We discussed, <laughs> we discussed a poem. We looked at the structure, okay? We analyzed the theme and how structure affects the theme. Okay. And you have the audacity to say that we're just chit-chatting about our feelings. Do you know how many papers I grade a week? Yeah, I could probably take a guess because you have a lot of my old students who were pretty phenomenal writers. So you're, first of all, welcome for all their writing skills, by the way. Wow. Um, okay. But I just kind of feel ahead. like in social studies, we really get into the real you know, drama, the real themes, the real depth. And that makes no sense. And I just don't see why you're sitting here thinking that your subject is better than mine. I mean, you guys read like Harry Potter a lot, right? <laughs> Harry Potter. Okay. Okay. J.K. Rowling. Honestly, you're making things so much worse. You could, you, I thought you came here to apologize. I genuinely, when you walked in, I was like, he's about to apologize. Why would I apologize for my own opinion and feelings? This is the 21st century. Like, this is time for us to get over the feelings. You just need to let those. I work. just think it's really unprofessional because as a school, we should support each other's subjects. And you're over here bashing English. Like, first of all, you're welcome for the writing. You're welcome for the writing skills, okay? Let's get that right. Let's get that right. Okay, I, I will, I'll think about that, but I just want you to remember who taught the kids first. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Bye. Right. I'll work, see you later. You I will that. see you later. You work on that. You guys, I did see Mr. Simpson and Miss Weaver get into a big argument. Yep, I he did. Was, he was talking smack about English, like all you guys talk about mm -hmm. is your feelings all day, and even dreamers. Uh, it was, yeah, it was kind of rude, and I'm glad Miss Weaver stood up for us. But me too. She kind of got in his face. Yeah, it was uncomfortable. Yeah, because we should really should be six feet apart. I know. But I, I, yeah, but we did see that. Yeah, it did happen. Mm -hmm. Drop it. Drop it. What's up, Gabe? I heard you need to talk to me about something. Hey, man, why are you sitting on my motorcycle for? Wait, what? Yeah, I saw you out there. You're sitting on my motorcycle. What's up with that? You were you were telling me about your motorcycle, and you brought it, so I figured I'd check it out. I sat on it, and I mean, I admit I revved the engine a couple of times. You you left the keys in it. Man, it's not yours, but you can't you can't be sitting on somebody's stuff. Well, this is the northern way, man. Like we we're all community here. Nah, we're done, man. We're we we're, can't be friends anymore. We can't be friends because of a motorcycle. Nah, we're done, man. Jeez, man, cry about it. Just some motorcycle. Whatever. All right, so obviously if you're looking at this video, I haven't made it. I sadly died and was killed. Please avenge my death and figure out who did this. <laughs>